everyone, it's Master Wong here. Today is another beautiful day again today for doing and talking about how to fight bully. Throughout all this time, we talk many different things about different subjects. Bully is one of them things that you've been bullied before. That's where you start to feel a lot of depression on you. It's because you, people don't like you and people hate you and everyone out there don't like you as well and that's where you feel a lot of things on you so you get in depressed depression now today we're gonna talk about depression okay a lot of time when people talk a lot about fear I talk a lot about fear talk about run away from home different thing depression is one of the biggest subject that are out there people every one of you not and might include myself have this kind of problem and this kind of problem here is need to be fixed and need to be know how to uh, fix them for me here depression is one of the things that I don't know what depression is you know to when I start to know what is the depression is what happened is when I'm in Vietnam I get this all the time I'm mostly on my own okay and I mostly talk to myself don't have the mirror normally mumbo drumbo to myself because everybody else think I'm a nuisance so I get used to this this is probably one of them thing I don't know what that is when I don't feel good most of the time I don't feel good I just stay in the corner there playing with my um, uh, buffalo or I just go and do my own small thing and I just, just be my own so I don't know what really depression is to when I came to UK you know when I see many people in a very uh, very hostile kind of uh, environment and also in a very such a very um, self um, harm you know like harm themselves I don't really know what that really is at all I just think like that's a standard because I I got kicked out from school when I'm 14 very early and I got no education at all so I got uh, I go to work in a Chinese restaurant and if you know when you uh, some of you out there if you're Chinese it's like into my age older time I'm 50 year old now so you need to remember I'm 50 year old now so into my 35 uh, 37 year ago for instance in that particular time in UK it's a lot a lot of sort of like um, uh, how you put it? It's a lot of uh, races as well. The Chinese against Vietnamese, so they don't really like the Vietnamese people in the Chinese restaurant as well. They just think Vietnamese people is a bloody uh, always uh, create trouble, you know, and stuff like that. So I thought this is how it is, you know. But most of them, they are working uh, where I'm working. They are all finished, and then they just on their drink, you know, like start drinking. After they have finished their work, they go to casino. When they come back, they just in very depressed mode. They are never in a happy mode at all. I thought that's how it is. That's how people are, you know. They are just moody and and miserable uh, people. Uh, that's all I know. They don't even know that. Um, uh, they're in depressed. They're very depressed. They don't like what they do. They don't like their job. They don't like uh, uh, where they are. They don't know what they want in their life. They've got no purpose. I don't know any of them. So I just follow along and be a part of that group and get into it. And when I started off, this is the big problem. So I get into drink. The first thing I get is smoking, drinking. And that's one of my things. Worse is the drinking. Because as soon as you have a few drinks, especially in UK the drink is quite sweet that you are mixing a lot of time are drinking stuff like um, you know a uh, funny thing about drinking the stuff is sweet so because it's sweet you drink a lot of them you don't know what is it to when you have fuel with you and you're like man it's just like you knock you out you don't know so one time when I come back I saw the, uh, the, the uh, bottle of drink, okay, from the one is a take uh, takeaway where I work, and it's sort of like dark, uh, sort of like Malibu, you know, heard of the drink called Malibu, yeah, white spirit Malibu, and it's very sweet and got very sweet taste. So I don't know what is it uh, the, about that too much about them kind of drink. I thought, oh, this is how quite sweet, and it don't really smell like much of alcohol, you know, like the way I normally drink. It's like very strong spirit, like uh, white, white, white rice. It's sort of like sake, you know, like when you drink, you know, it's really, really hot and really thing me. But this one is very sweet. So normally you drink small shot like this. I pour the whole flipping cup like that out, you know. I start drinking on it. 
And I, you get into like it, and sometimes when you start to drinking a bit, people talking, people have a go at you, people um, people say don't not say very nice thing about you. They find a very negative thing about you to say. They just call you your new slit, your 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 freaking waste of time. I don't know why you here. Uh, or why you here? And you got no education. You're a dumb person. All you good at is just washing, cleaning, and that's all you're gonna have. You haven't got any other news for in this this world. It's just very depressing, you know. It's very depressing. And after that, finish at 12 o'clock, clean the goddamn place up, go back uh, to up there, and you're watching film. And what's most of the time watching. For really the, a lot of film is that very depressing film as well so may you more depressed about like uh, life is bad um, uh, uh, you know refugee all this thing is really build you up you know it made you really really pissed you know and everything and then when you're going out in the morning uh, finish uh, uh, lunch time because you work from 10 to 2 and then from 2 you have 3 hour break uh, to 3 hour break 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, three hour break, then come back again and then start to work to 12 o'clock. So only time you have is that small break, you're going out. And then a lot of uh, white do uh, when we go and play snooker, a lot of white do start to like, pick on you, just say you're freaking ching, you need none, you know what you're doing here and so on and so forth. And then I start to fight them and, and then come back and then the boss don't like it because you create trouble, at, uh, uh, trouble to, to, to the takeaway because they come round the takeaway. What they do normally to piss me, uh, the, the boss off, they order food and then they ring up all the food and then they, nobody pick it up. Yeah, and then they come in and they have a have a go at uh, 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 at uh, at the people, the staff, and just say call me out and it's really bad. So I start to spend a lot of time drinking, 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 till when I start to feel like oh my god, this world is suck. And all the stuff I'm learning and doing is not really much helping me because it's a lot of fighting, more like hitting people, not more anything to do with like the uh, restore phase and stuff like that. So it's really, really bad. Then I met one of my master teaching Tai Chi. You know, that time I don't know what the hell Tai Chi is. I just like old people in the park play around with Tai Chi, very slow and stuff like that. And he said, what you need to do, you need to spend more time Breathing, learn about breathing. Because a lot of time anxiety is because shadow breathing. I have a lot of problem like when you when when we work <laughs> shadow breathing. Like that. Like that. So anything happen, you you don't breathe properly, so your system is very clogged up and then when people say something you get angry. You, it's so nightmare. Okay? Because shadow breathing. <sighs> you need to learn deep breathing. So he's talked to me a little bit about breathing. So he just go through some little bit breathing with me. I do, he said, try to do 10 of this. So I do feel of this, five, this, seven, this, and I start to get fainted like, oh man, it's like knock me out. Because my body never get used to have that much oxygen come in at all to my system. So my body never get used to that. I start to faint, you know? And he's, uh, then he start to slap my face and he said, what's going on? I said, I, I faint, fainted off, faint. And I thought that I haven't eat at all, haven't eaten. So that's why I'm low on sugar. That's why I'm fake. I said, no, because uh, soon he realized that he find out is you don't breathe properly. Okay, so then you get stressed out very easily. You get very depressed very easily. Okay, and that's where the big problem is for me. Then every morning he take me, uh, come with him every morning early before I get to work. He take me a little bit of practice some basic movement on the Tai Chi. And just very basic and encourage in live on the breathing. So I help myself a little bit more better. A little bit more better. But my master is not uh, around that time he gone away uh, to doing some work for a while. And nobody there. So I don't know what need to do next. And I, then I, you know what happened when you in that particular age of us, uh, 18, 19 year old, you, you just, you, you just lost, you know, you don't know where you are because you, you got nobody guide you. So afterward, what I do, I get back to drinking again, gambling, go to casino and spending all the money and start getting involved into, uh, uh, 
silly thing, you know, like hang around silly people do silly thing daily in and out. So come back really, really stress stressful, and that's why one thing to con contribute to my hair is because of stressful. Okay, very stressful, and get into a lot of different uh, fight all sort of time. Come back because you you get um, annoying very quickly. You're getting. Uh, 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 you're getting messed up very quickly. You know, you you certain people say thing. You 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 you're agitated. You want to smack your face in. You just want to hurt them. Okay, no no thing about like the problem is need to be calm, need to be uh, control. None of that. So I started drinking. Now when I start drinking, I'm not just drinking a lot of uh, uh, money bull and and uh, Jack Daniel. You know, Jack Daniel with coke and all this stuff. And also drinking a lot of so like Indian uh, soap like that have like called a um, uh, what do you call it called a tiger uh, king cobra king cobra like big bottle like like got them big not not a small one big one you know I drink a lot of that because friend a lot of friend of mine opposite to me they have the, the, the Indian restaurant so coming in and then they call you over and then they come in and what you do serve them the few them big bottle of a king cobra and then you kill few drink of them. And that's what happened. I get through my life the same way as like that depressing headache problem. And you can't meet any friend. You don't have any people to talk to. Nobody care. Nobody give a monkey about me. And that's where I end up really down, 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 really bad. That's the time I in a bad, bad place is when I left. Uh, I, I, um, I started drinking a lot and I working very late. I working too late and it's got nothing much at all. I got really big problem with my health by breathing. I, I really uh, like problem. Can't really breathe properly. Like not got enough oxygen to my system. And one is a doctor, a Chinese doctor actually, saw me and he said, "Man, you're gonna die soon if you carry on like this. You know, you're gonna dead because the way you are, no, not enough oxygen to your system." And that really wake me up a bit. And then after that, my master coming back, see me, what going on? And he said, "You know, you better than that. You know." The day he start to know me a little bit when I'm uh, left uh, uh, school, when I uh, got kicked out from school, he said, "Your life is so bad in Vietnam. Come over here. Now you've been suffer a lot. A lot of people in Vietnam in that time never got a chance to come in a Western place like that. Never got a chance to get here. You come here and you got a chance to come here to do something about your life, make your life better. And this is how you treat yourself." And I sit there and I sit to myself. So I sit there and I'm crying and I start there and say, I don't know where I'm going. I got no, I got no destiny. I got no uh, purpose in life. No, nothing. No purpose. Nobody guide me. Nothing of like that. And it's really depressed for, really stressed out all the time and bad, really bad. Then he said, you need to find something you love to do that you really will love it to able to do it. Uh, to make sure that you continue to do them because you love to do them, you know. And I said, only thing I love to do is training. I like to training. I like teaching. I like to practice a lot of uh, Tai Chi movement to helping to get my body breathing. So I said, you know what I need to do? I need to heal myself. And in the same time, I try to fix them and learn it and able to get out of this problem. So that's what I started off by learning Tai Chi and practice breathing. A little bit more better. Every time I get stressed out, I learn doing a little bit more breathing, deep breathing, <sighs> deep breathing to help me get to calm my body down, overcome it, and gradually I get out of my depression. Not much problem with me, and then I just don't hang around with a lot of people around me. They are just no use for nothing, rubbish, and it's really, really pull me down. And I just find my purpose. My purpose in life is simple. It go out there, make a different, changing. The, the, the way I want, uh, the world I want to be living, and I want to live in a better world, I need to make a change. You know, nobody can change for me. So because of that, I go out and do whatever needs to be done. Get in the right track, learn the right thing, practice a lot of Tai Chi training, practice a lot of martial training to enhance my discipline to be able to overcome this uh, 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 depression on me. So this is where my depression uh, fin uh, uh, done and help is because throughout the training and most of them helping to get out my depression it practice Tai Chi, Qi Gong and meditation that help me a not to bring me back to where I am and I'm very grateful for 
for my master on that time that uh, uh, helping me and unfortunately he's not here no more now but uh, that's the thing in life sometimes you meet people that guide you along just show you the way and that's where I be and that's where I online and try to motivate you this way I want to do this kind of show like this to share my uh, my stuff with you as well so you know where I'm coming from I've been through it you can see it throughout all the the thing happened to me okay and I able to go through it and able to pick myself out of the problem and change it and helping myself to get somewhere and I know a lot of you throughout all the uh, episodes I talking about your love I love to hear your story because your story is in it you when you write uh, the, the story comment and uh, write about it or talk about it a lot of people read it they are getting to learn it it's not not just only them you know, many people out there have the same problem. Then throughout my time, I try to help many, many people in a different, addicted to different things, different problems they've got, different uh, 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 um, uh, depression they have, and help them to overcome their demon. And throughout this, I learn a lot. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm learn a lot about what human being is and what your purpose of life is. The most important thing, you need to find your purpose in life. What do you really love to do and what is it you want to achieve in your life? When you find your goal, where you find your purpose and that's where you channel to generate all the energy there. When it generate all the energy there, that become a lot more easier for you to able to uh, uh, overcome your addiction, overcome your problem, overcome your depression, all this thing. So that's what I have for you not. And some of you ask me this question, and this is my story. Of course, as I go through my life uh, into my middle, uh, into my middle age, uh, not middle age, into my thirty, getting married, having business. And that's when I fall back to another depression as well because of stressful about the family. I would will talk to you more about that when uh, when you're getting married, problem, uh, right and stuff like that. So that's it. That's where I is, and I will talk to you more about that. So some of you, a loads of you, comment a lot, talk a lot of different thing about it, and I find that very interesting for you not uh, to comment and asking and talk about it and share it here. So any of you not got any kind of problem like, like uh, in depression before, share down here how you get out of it, how you overcome it. Not just always about fighting other people, but the fighting the demon inside you, okay? That's more important. Fight the demon inside you, how you overcome it, how you do the thing you do uh, to overcome it, how to make you become the better version of you, and what um, drive you, you know, what you have the purpose in your life that's so strong that you can able to get out of this problem because you need to really find a purpose in your life so you can able to, to, to move toward it because if you are thinking just because you're doing for you, not strong enough, you know, you need to find something stronger than that to anchor it to be able to turn around and say yes, I will be like this person or I want to be this person or I want to be this that will become a lot easier for for you to overcome your problem that's how I've done mine okay so I love to hear your story I love to hear all the bit you're doing and talking about comment below here and I'll try to use it, this channel here to share many many different things with you so you can able to learn and understand it and nothing is difficult nothing is hard it's just you just have the will to able to do it the will to make it different and the will to change, okay? And make you to become the better version of you. If you want to do that, you will be able to do that because you just need to take the first action, okay? Comment below here. I'd love to see you next week. Talk more about another different uh, addition. If you want me to cover on different things like that subject, let me know. Anything you want to learn about martial, anything like that, everything is on this channel here that provides for you uh, uh, Wing Chun, Tai Chi and all the different movements. If you want, really want to learn the Tai Chi to helping you to live it better, then check out website the Tai Chi for Beginner. Learn about breathing, basic movement, how to be calm, how to be uh, in control and how to make you to become a better version of you. Take it easy, I will see you next week. Master Wong here, out.